So, Esme, it appears that your time's coming to an end at City, and we're going to have a discussion about some of your best moments looking ahead. But how do you feel right now? Because, to be honest, this feels quite nice to see all these thank you, Esme, messages around. There's just so many good memories there. I've got when I signed my extension, the Etihad Derby, obviously a trophy win, captain in the team. Like, I look back and I've probably achieved so much more than I ever thought I would when I came into the academy first. So it's been a really special journey. And what would you say your favourite moment was from after you made your debut? There's been so many highlights. Trophy wins are always amazing and getting to play at the Etihad was incredibly special. But I think when I look back, the things that I'll treasure most is the friendships with my teammates and all the other people around the club because that's what football's about, really. It's the connections that you build with people while doing something that you enjoy. And I've done that while I've been here. I've been so lucky with the people that I've met and I've got true friends for life. Fabulous. <laughs> so you're a City fan, have been your whole life. I've been a City fan for my whole life, but I remember the feeling I had when I had to leave. And I'll be honest, the first time I left, because I went on loan for a year, I cried because I never thought about leaving. I never wanted to leave. This is my city, this is my football club. And looking back, I don't think I had the option to stay as such, but I remember being devastated that I had to leave. Well, how do you feel now? Because everything you've said sounds like this should be the place where you stay. Yeah, it is, it's difficult. I think I went on loan to Everton um, and that probably opened my eyes a little bit about sort of my development and, and what I need in my career. And I think at the, ta at the moment I'm in, a lot of coaches believe, every coach I've ever had always says to me, we believe you can be one of the best centre-backs in the world. Um, and so I think there's got to come a time where I play there consistently and I can learn week to week and develop myself. And I really just want to be the very best player I can be. And I believe I can be one of the best in the world. And so I really want to reach that. It's been hard and I've had moments where I thought, oh gosh, like, City is my home. I love everyone so much here and I'm so grateful that I've got the opportunity to represent all of the fans on the pitch. That honestly means the world to me. But I really, really want to reach my potential and be the best player that I can be. And so having those conversations, I feel like that is something I'm going to be better able to do elsewhere. And when you eventually leave this training ground for the last time, what do you reckon the feeling will be inside you? I'll probably just be bawling my eyes out, to be honest. I think after the game, when the final whistle went on the last day of the season, I just burst into tears because I knew that the girls out there had just given absolutely everything and I love that team so much. And so I think all the emotion that I'd kind of just put to the side in order to focus on being the best teammate I could be for the last few months just all came bubbling up. So I feel like it'll probably be a similar feeling when it sinks in that I'm, I'm leaving and I'm not going to be coming back. And finally then, obviously there's an element of sadness with leaving, but what are you looking forward to in your next chapter? I think just challenging myself, being seen with different eyes and having coaches be able to pick up on different things in my game and push me in different ways and give me different messages so I can improve and hopefully keep growing in, into being a leader and developing myself as a player. I really just want to play consistently in my strongest position and try and improve as much as I can and become a great, great player. I'll be honest, I'm gutted you're leaving. Oh. I'm gutted you're leaving. You're one of my favourite players, just full stop. I think that's oh, no, the adventure that you have now. in going wherever you're going. I think you will be great. I think you are one of the best. I think you could be one of the best in the world. Like I say, I'm glad to you leave, but I'm looking forward to your future as well. Thanks, Ned. <laughs> oh dear, I did so well. <laughs> I believe you're going. I know. <laughs>